Hello mga Topilots! First of all, I would like to greet everybody. Happy New Year! It's already 2021. 2020 was really not a great year for most of us. And I hope this 2021 will be a very good year para sa mga sa lahat. Uh, yesterday, I was, I was supposed to go to this restaurant which is a restaurant na aviation themed. But when I went there, there's a place called Plain Bistro. Uh, it's located at Spanya, Manila. Uh, I'm I live here in Taguig, so it's quite far from here. So I went there. The problem is after reaching the place, they didn't have any parking space. So I ended up going around the block looking for some parking space. But the problem is I didn't find any. So. I ended up going back home. I found out that there is a place very near my place. It's located just at the Makati CBD. There is a lot of history on this place. Uh, I just found out actually to be honest. I always see that place because my wife used to work uh, very near that, uh, that location, that building. I found out that there that it is a UNESCO heritage building and the history behind that building is so rich that I really have to go there but the problem is this place that we're going right now is like 180 degree turn from what I was planning yesterday because this place is so fancy well it is it is expensive for most Filipinos I don't know if you're watching from the UK or the US, this might be cheap for you. But for Filipinos, this is considered an expensive place, an expensive restaurant. Before going there, I have to pass by an ATM so to withdraw some money. So let's go. Okay, we reach our destination. For those of you who are wondering, we are at the Ayala Triangle. So it is at the heart of Makati CBD. This is very interesting because I just found out that the first uh, airfield, the first airport in Manila is located here. So yung Ayala Triangle used to be Nielsen Air Airfield and the restaurant that we are going in right now it's called Blackbird it's a fancy restaurant for fine dining it used to be the control tower of that airport so yung roads yung Paseo de Rojas at saka I think it's the Makati Avenue or Ayala Avenue I forgot used to be the two intersecting runways they built it during 1937 and it was operational from 1937 to 1947 during the World War II. I always park here because my wife used to work very near here. In fact, inside the uh, Ayala Triangle. Uh, she used to work for Philippine Stock Exchange, which is located inside the Ayala Triangle. Now it's located at BGC. Kapag kailangan ko siyang sunduin, dito ako nagpa-park. Pag medyo matagal pa siya at merong ano, uh, overtime, Tito, ako nagpa park. And I always see this restaurant, yung Blackbird. I never imagined dining there because I know that it is expensive. Uh, most celebrities and politicians go there to eat. So before coming here, I called them up in advance to make sure that the, that the place is open for business and that I can dine in there. I'm not really here for the food because I'm sure the food will be great and it's not a place where celebrities and politicians go to dine if the food is not great. I'm sure the food is great but the food are expensive. I'm really here because of the history and I want to see the place and I want to share it to you guys. So that's Makati Ave and we are going to that place. 
that is the Blackbird Restaurant that used to be the control tower. Thank you. So I transferred outside because there are a lot of people in the room and they can film. And here outside, I think it's okay. The weather is fine, so it's okay here in the room. They give you this bag so you can put your mask. It's very sanitary. Before coming in, you have to sanitize your hands and take your temperature. Then they give you this QR code where you scan with your phone and then you get the menu. So, tignan natin kung magkano. Hindi naman pa siya, hindi mo pala siya ganun kamahal. I was expecting na talagang ridiculous yung ano, presyo. But the price is reasonable for a fine dining, I think. So, fish curry around 700 pesos. Pero yung mga wagyu beef, that's about 3,000 pesos. So, that's way out of my budget. So I ended up ordering tiger prawns and then I ordered also spiced pumpkin soup that cost about 1,500 pesos. I hope you can hear me. I cannot be very loud because my ibang tao. Here's the menu. Yeah, nga pala. During New Year's Eve, I guess iniwan ko na lahat ng bad luck sa 2020. Nabasag yung phone ko. I don't want to buy another phone because phones are expensive and they depreciate a lot. So, I think I will just keep this. And then, if there is somebody who's going to give me a phone, then that's okay. But I'm not going to buy another phone. Soup just arrived. So, prawns are ready. I just paid the bill and binigyan nila ako ng face mask kasi naiwan ko yung face mask ko sa loob ng kotse. They were asking me if I have a face mask. They provided me with this. Very good service. Later, we will go inside the restaurant to see what's inside and to have a little view. I cannot show you the inside kanina kasi uh, marami pang tao. But now I think it's only one person so I can film inside. So I asked permission if we can go up to the control tower, observation tower, and they told me that I can go up there. So, tara. We're going up. Uh, observation tower. I don't know what's up upstairs. Hopefully, you view. Uh, kung mapapansin nyo, hindi siya ganun kataas, di ba? Oh. Dining area pa rin pala to. So, this is the second floor. Uh, the tower.
over there is the Ayala Triangle. Yan, makikita nyo, landmark. You can see everything. You can observe 360 here. So, of course, you have to imagine during that time, 1940s, uh, during World War II, uh, there were no buildings around. So, this tall tower is enough to observe everything. Over there is Ayala Avenue and then Paseo de Roja Pinguin. I also found out that during that time, 1940s, 19, uh, 1930s, 37 to 1948, this used to be the best in Asia. The airfield nato, Nielsen Air, Nielsen Field, this used to be the best in Asia. Thank you. So, tapos na tayo dun sa uh, Nelson Tower. I don't know if Ayala Triangle is open right now. Hopefully it is. Oh, mukhang open naman. So, pwede tayong pumasok. So, this is what I was telling you about dati. Dati ito, puro restaurants. This is inside the triangle. We used to eat here because uh, there are some fast food here. So, ngayon, they're all closed because of the pandemic. That's sad. So this place, uh, every December, they used to have light show here inside the triangle. Uh, it's a big light show. Uh, lights are in sync with the music and it has become a tourist attraction. But now, because of the pandemic it's empty so that's the PS, uh, used to be the PSP building it's now located at BGC so I used to come here wait for my wife uh, then when she comes out after uh, her office hours we eat here Pero ngayon, hindi na. so can you imagine this used to be an airfield this is where the first uh, airfield in the Philippines. Hindi ko alam yun dati. Uh, I just found it out and then I have to come back here and vlog about it. This is a very historical site. By the way, yung building kanina, that's the only building or that's the only structure that is left after World War II. World War II. Everything na bago na. Lahat na uh, yung uh, well, used to be runway, that's Paseo de Rojas over there, that's Paseo de Rojas Road. It used to be a runway, and then yung Ayala Ab used to be also the runway. Wala na siya, so mga ano na siya ngayon, main, uh, main roads. So this triangle used to be inside the aerodrome. have to look for a place where I can uh, talk and take off my mask. So, dito isolated naman, walang ibang tao, malayong malayo sa ibang tao. And uh, hopefully, they can preserve that building. But since it's a UNESCO heritage site, I think it will be preserved for a long time. And uh, hopefully, uh, the young ones like you who are viewing this will be able to visit it 
and see, some, see and feel some history, some aviation history. I will try to integrate more of these things in my vlog para hindi naman tayo boring na puro sa aeroplano lang. And uh, right now, wala pa akong flight. My next flight is going to be January 8th. So that will be my first flight of the year. And for sure, I will make a vlog about, about that. Dito kasi sa atin sa Pilipinas, medyo ano, hindi tayo ganun ka-particular in terms of preserving historical sites. Well, meron namang mga na-pre-preserve, but the problem is marami talaga yung napapabayaan lang. So, hopefully, uh, the government will do something about it. The government will give budget to preserve th those historical sites. I really want to go to Corredor Island again because that's also one historical site that is very rich pagdating sa aviation history. Hopefully, when everything opens again, because right now we cannot go there, hopefully we can visit it and then show you the place. So, habang naglalakad ako papunta dito sa Ayala Triangle, actually, matagal ko na siyang nakikita. I just want to share it to you. So, dito makikita mo yung one of the most colorful trees in the world. And you can only find it, I think, here in the Philippines, Papua New Guinea, and Indonesia. It's the rainbow eucalyptus tree. So, yan. Marami, marami sila dito. Okay guys, we are now back dito sa amin and I really wanted to take a lot of videos inside the building and fortunately there are also a lot of people uh, having their lunch at that time and I don't want to invade their privacy, I have to respect that so I can only film on the locations that there are no people. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked a bit of history aviation history and uh, until our next video thank you very much for our first ever vlog for 2021 happy new year and i hope that our new year will be a good one thank you and until our next video